Hey guys, final day of uh, Unit 4. This is Day 4 um, on some uh, crazy parallel lines cut by transversals with some triangles thrown in there as well. Uh, what I do here first is I'm going to read the question. It says that the measure of angle ABE is 56 degrees. The first thing that we need to do is put that 56 degrees on this diagram. And we're talking about angle ABE, so angle A... B, E. So right there, that angle right there is 56 degrees. And the measure of angle E, D, C. So here, E, D, C, that one is 22 degrees. So this one down here is 22 degrees. And then we're looking for angle B, E, D. Angle B, E, D is right here. We're looking for this guy right in here. So that's our goal. We have the two labeled that we know, and we're looking for angle X, this one right here. Um, first thing that I would do is I, I notice there's not really a transversal drawn all the way through. Um, I see BE is kind of like three quarters of the way drawn, so I'm just going to extend that because I'm allowed to. It's a straight line. You can always extend a straight line. And then as soon as I extend that straight line, I can tell that I've got some alternate interior angles here because they're inside my parallel lines, they're alternate the transversal, so we know that 56, if I go down the transversal and jump across, I know this one down here is also 56 degrees inside this triangle right here, that's 56 degrees. So now I've got two angles in my triangle, my triangle here, I'm talking, these two angles right here, I know they will add up to the other angle's exterior. So all I need to do for this question is add 56, and 22, and that gives me 78 degrees, which is exactly x right there. That's all I need to do for that one.